NFL scouts descended upon Morgantown for West Virginia's Pro Day, and all eyes were on running back Charles Sims and defensive end Will Clark. The two guys that, that went to the combine are, are Charles Sims and, and Will Clark. Those are kind of the main guys that uh, you know that, uh, that that went to the combine that did a good job, and the guys that most of them are here looking at. Uh, real proud of both of them. They, they had two tremendous senior years. Uh, Will Clark had a great career here. A uh, kid out of Pittsburgh that uh, was a four-year starter for us, and and then Charles was a different situation. He came from Houston and and adapted really good and was an All Big 12 player uh, himself. So look forward to both of those guys getting drafted and playing for a long time. Film is the is the ultimate guide. You got to watch what the, the player does on film, but getting a chance to come to their place, their you know usually their university, and have a chance to evaluate them and see what they do in person, kind of the the combine is. Um, they're very well scripted. They know what they're going to be doing. They know what kind of drills and everything else. So you, they kind of know they're prepared for that one. Here you get a chance to kind of see how they react on the run. I feel like I wanted to come out today and um, show some athletic ability, you know, show uh, looseness in my hips, you know, just show I can move, you know, to the scouts and the drills. And I feel like I've done that. The NFL come by, you know, you got all the lights and stuff, but, you know, nervous, you know, get all that out. And come out here and just, you know, have fun and enjoy the moment. You know, I caught the ball well, you know, looked smooth in my routes. I think I did a pretty good job today. You know, I just want to keep on doing what I do, uh, working hard every day, you know, just working on my craft. You're looking for a couple of things. You're just trying to kind of make an evaluation of how they take coaching, how they understand drills, how quickly they pick them up, and then to see their athletic movement in those drills. There's certain things for each drill that you're trying to find out, whether it be their feet, their hips, their hands, whatever it may be, but you're trying to find out what they do best, or what they do well, and what they can't do that well. These Big 12 athletes will wait to hear their name called when the draft begins on May 8th and runs through May 10th. In Morgantown, Kristen Keith, Big 12 Digital Network.